Good day. Uh, you are at the end of your course and you, like many students, are at a very varied rate in completing your assignments. And so I just want to alert you the way I approach self-paced classes. Uh, in reality, you are to use uh, your critical thinking skills in, in working through each of the assessments and lessons. And you need to do some self-taught. Um, now I've provided some videos along the way to help you uh, to clarify different um, theological topics, different uh, themes related to the reading material. I hope that has helped um, to clarify your learning. Uh, the second thing is that because of the nature of self-pace is that many students tend to wait to the last minute to submit their work. And you, whereas you, you had um, several weeks to, to submit in order, uh, in a timely way and in order to get uh, timely feedback. As a result, um, because of the nature of self-paced, uh, I'm going to, uh, normally what I do is I, I grade the final projects first because that takes up um, a greater amount of reading through and giving you some feedback, but it also uh, is weighted differently. And so it would be important for you to know that, okay, I'm doing really well on the final assessments and uh, you can probably relatively see where your final grade will be. And then I'll tail back on your reflection assignments uh, as those are less points, uh, but still necessary for your final grade. So I hope that clarifies uh, where uh, I intend to go over these next few days, uh, and I do intend to, to complete your, your grades in a timely way. If you have any questions about uh, your grade, uh, an assessment, uh, maybe there's something uh, you maybe you didn't submit by accident or your computer failed or the internet failed. Feel free to call me, text me, um, send me a quick email. If I don't respond within a 24-hour window, maybe I didn't get it and you need to get in contact me right away. Now, just as a reminder, at the tail end of every term, uh, emails become almost uncontrollable and... Um, so be patient with me, uh, uh, and uh, again, if, if I'm not responding right away or, or fixing something, it's probably because I have not received uh, your message. So it would be wise to connect with me either by Skype or phone or whatever is necessary uh, to uh, rectify the, the problem. I hope you learned a lot in your class and that the learning experience was meaningful to you. You're able to apply the practical um, biblical truth that you learned in the course. Uh, think through what does the Bible have to say about the subject that I am learning and what do I need to do differently in regards to the subject uh, that, that is at hand. And so um, I've tried to encourage you to think broadly as it relates to the videos. Um, think on those thematic subjects to reinforce what maybe the author was saying and, or um, stretch you beyond maybe where you're normally um, used to. But if that was um, profitable for you, I hope you take another course, and we look forward to uh, interacting with you, uh, Lord willing, in the future.